Today, there is basically no enterprise that in one way or another would not use automation in its business. What is the difference between a table created in Microsoft Excel for goods and data accounting and a software product that is positioned as an ERP system? The abbreviation ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, began to be used in the 90s of the 20th century. ERP system integrates all activities of the enterprise into a single information model of data and processes, providing the optimal use of process resources of specific departments and services individually, and the entire enterprise as a whole. One CERP is a flexible ERP solution empowering enterprises to meet the digital challenges of today's business, grow faster, and lead their markets. One CERP was created taking into account the best world practices of automation of medium sized businesses, as well as with the direct participation of representatives of large industrial enterprises. Thanks to an expert approach to the development and phase testing, 1C ERP has exactly the functionality that is most in demand in large enterprises with different activities, including technically complex production. Here are the main benefits that a company receives by implementing 1C ERP. Comprehensive automation of company processes. Move away from using local functional solutions that don't interact with each other well to an ERP solution which automates end-to-end -end business processes. Transparency of business and focus on the overall picture. Transparent business processes allow you to grow your company faster and stay competitive knowing how your company operates in detail. A single intuitive dashboard to control all business units. Stay on top of your business KPIs, estimate operational efficiency, individual departments and employee performance to achieve financial goals. Grow through insight. Make informed decisions with critical data always at hand and available in real time. See your real business value of one C ERP solution. Production and volume increase. Customer order processing speed up. Then order fulfillment time decrease, employee productivity growth, and management report generation speed up. One CERP system consists of a number of subsystems that are used to support company activities. This structure is called architecture, and during the course we'll consistently study the subsystems of one CERP. Information system architecture is a concept that defines a business model, a structure, functions, and an interrelation of information system components. Let's list one CERP subsystems and their functions. Note that when implementing one CERP, you can enable only those subsystems that are needed. Planning subsystem serves for sales and operations planning and master scheduling. It helps to plan the level of activity for sales, production, and procurement. It also creates balanced operational plans, such as sales focus, master production schedule, and operational purchase plan. Demand fulfillment subsystem is responsible for the timely supply of material resources. It supports inventory stock replenishment, MRP, material requirements planning, and DRP, distribution requirements planning functions. Procurement subsystem manages purchasing operations from purchase order to invoicing and delivery. Manufacturing subsystem serves for production management and shop floor control. At the production management level, it supports the work order handling and production scheduling under resource constraints. At the shop floor control level, it provides planning, execution, and control of the shop floor operations. Warehouse and delivery subsystem is responsible for managing the storage and delivery of goods and materials. CRM and marketing subsystem is used to manage interactions with customers and marketing events. Sales subsystem is responsible for managing the sales process from quotation to invoice and shipment. Support activities such as budgeting, cash flow, control and data analysis, accounting and human resources 
are used to manage the respective business functions. Master Data Subsystem manages reference information of the enterprise. Administration Subsystem is used for configuring 1C ERP and managing user access. You may learn this subsystem in the appendix section of the course. In the following lessons, let's look at the subsystems in more detail.